Hi Taurus, I'm Jennifer. I'm going to do your reading for you. We'll find out what messages spirits have for you. What's happening with Taurus spirits? Okay, one more shuffle Taurus. Okay, let's see what's going on, Taurus. What's happening with Taurus spirits? We have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. The King of Swords, two kings, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone's making a decision. Oh my gosh, Taurus. Three kings, the king of wands and the page of pentacles. There's some strong energy here coming from somebody, Taurus. Somebody's coming towards you with a very, very strong, strong energy. It shows three kings here, but we're really talking about one person with incredibly strong has a lot of love for you Taurus they're um this this person's manipulative though what's happening with Taurus this person has many faces and likes to be recognized I have the seven of wands you you may feel defensive and guarded up with this person I have the fool. This person is a fool, literally a fool. And I have the chariot cancer energy. Okay, so let's start up here with the king of cups. This person has a lot of love for you, Taurus, but they're not outwardly showing it. They want a new passionate beginning with you. This is someone who has a lot of passion for you. This person coming towards you, Taurus, this is a very strong energy. I feel like this is someone new coming into your life so far, but I'm not sure yet. But I'm seeing someone new so far is what I'm feeling. And um, this is someone really good with money, someone who has money. Why is the King of Swords here? Seven of Cups and the Nine of Wands. This is someone who feels like the wound is for us. They're confused. They've made up their mind that they're bringing you an, an emotional cup of love with the Page of Cups. They want to send you a message. They're very, very tired. They've made a decision that you're the one they want. They, This is someone, I feel like this person has a lot of options. But they see you. This, this person's watching you, Taurus. It could be a Leo or a Pisces. This is someone watching you. It's like they're they're carrying I feel like they're carrying some type of secret or something. It's a very like it's a heavy burden for this person not to be with you. This person is not with you and um they have a lot of passion for you. They're coming.
but this is someone with a very heavy energy of sadness and grief. To stay hidden, they're trying to stay in control of their emotions. Why is the magician here? This person's trying to manifest you, Taurus. I have the star and I have the five of wands. They're fighting an inner battle. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. They're fighting an inner battle with themselves because they want a reconciliation with you or a new beginning with you. This person is really up in their head about you, Taurus. They're looking at they're looking at everything from a different perspective, a different point of view. I'm feeling like this is probably um, someone that you're connecting with right now, but you're not speaking to. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Seven of Swords is showing up in the center of your reading. There, this is truth. They're going to be very emotional about it. They want to come and tell you the truth, Taurus. Married to sharing a home with, or in the past, you shared a home where we're married to this person. Taurus, you made the devil cry. The devil is down on down on their knees crying. This is someone that could have some type of an addiction. It could just be a Capricorn. Um, but they're crying. They're very focused on the past. They're looking at the bigger picture now. This person sees you as their happiness. They're like, they're putting you up on a pedestal. Why is the Seven of Wands here? They're wanting to offer you it all, but I'm seeing you very guarded, Taurus, against this person. You're on the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Pentacles, male or female, but you've been very loving, giving, kind to this person. Look at this. This is a true pair. The King and the Queen of Pentacles, two people that are supposed to be together. Wow, why are there so many people? There's three queens right here. There's juggling here. This person's been been being wearing a false mask. They've been juggling different people. They were very cold to you. Very selfish. Why is the wheel of fortune here? But I'm seeing things changing with the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups. For, for someone out there, this person is in jail. The Ten of Cups is here. So this could be a happy home, a happy family, like everything perfect at times. And then this person... Um, just completely goes ice cold on you. Why is the fool here? And so you just don't know what you're getting with this person. Why is the fool here? The six of pentacles. Okay, so there's probably a block in communication. This could be you to doing this, Taurus, to this person. This is an X showing up on the bottom of the deck. 
There's blocked communication between you and this person. And this person <clears throat> breadcrumbed you. There was no equal give and take here. And <clears throat> it's like they, look, they looked past your love that you were offering to them. And they were just in their ego. It was all about them. But this this person, whoever this is in this reading, this person's coming to take a leap of faith towards you now to come out of the cold, come out of this blocked communication. This could be a cancer. This could be any sign, though. This is a committed relationship. The Hierophant is here. I'm seeing a committed relationship. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. But I feel like this person's coming to you wanting a reconciliation, Taurus. And you may be closed off to this because this person has betrayed you. Ten swords in the back. These swords were not put in your back all at once. Notice they're in your back. They did things behind your back. They were wearing a false mask. I'm seeing you getting your justice here. Things, the, things will be made right. This person is getting like some type of karmic justice. And things will be... The scales will be balanced here. The truth will be told. I'm seeing a very controlling, strong energy in this reading, Taurus. I'm not sure who you're dealing with, but this is a very strong, controlling energy. And I'm seeing them moving towards you very quickly. Why is the emperor here? This person made some very bad decisions. They had a blindfold on. This could be a Scorpio. This is someone that just could come in and out of your life, Taurus. That caused you a lot of heartbreak, a lot of pain. It could be someone who drinks a lot. Put you in a third party situation, blocked commun communication with you. Let's see what this person has to say. Let me just lift up some of these cards, Taurus. We'll find out what they have to say. That is uh, someone who did some serious wrongdoings and now they're down on their knees regretting it. Okay, Taurus. We're going to start with Pisces. Okay, if you're dealing with the Pisces, you came closer than anyone. A Cancer. I pretend that I don't care, Scorpio. You are not part of my plan. Scorpio is cold, I feel like. Okay, Aries. I wish I could share my good news with you, Leo. I forgive you, Sagittarius. I hope you're happy for me, Aquarius. I wish things could be different, Libra. 
Yes, it is too late. Gemini. I lost myself for a little while. And if you're dealing with another Taurus, I am not coming back. Or that could be you saying that to them. Virgo. So many things remind me of you. And Capricorn. We both know I am not the one for you. And for everyone on the bottom of the deck, I focused on you instead of my pain. And I left you before you could leave me. Okay, Taurus, let me grab you a couple of Moonology cards for advice from spirits. Let me just shuffle the cards, get the energy going through them. What does Taurus need to know of spirits? Adjustments are required. A fiery climax approaches. And nothing will come of this situation. On the bottom of the deck, a win-win outcome is forecast. So I feel like this has to do with your choices. I'm seeing um, justice is on your side, Taurus. The universe is on your side. And thank you so much for being here with me, Taurus. I love you guys. I love Tauruses so much. Um, such a beautiful grounded energy that Taurus has but um, I will see you guys tomorrow for your daily reading and I send you lots of love and light Taurus namaste